right if you are like me and happen to have an Android phone. Uh, <laughs> go to metaview.gg to see all of the best and hottest clips in all of the top Smash Ultimate streams on Twitch. Yeah, definitely uh, download it now. Free on the iOS. Stop the YouTube clutter and free yourself from it. MetaView is here to help you out here. Uh, enough of that here, man. Of course, MetaView. Oh, what a great what a great time to be alive to live in the time of MetaView. Like I said, stop the YouTube clutter. Anyways, let's get on to it. It is going to be here. Pink shirt guy versus Jake. And speaking of clutter, if you're Jake, your goal is to clutter the stage with as many mind guards as possible against this min men. Yeah, because you can just close the gap at a, at a really good pace with those mind cards. The, the interesting thing in this matchup for me is to see if Jake's going to be able to outpace Pink Shirt Guy's hitboxes with the arms and blocks. Right, right, right. right. He, he's, he's not feeling like he wants to do that. Keeping those uh, me, uh, resources for the mind cart right now and Oh, man, almost a shield break with a footstool down air. Watch the mash? Okay, good, 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 good. That was good. I was going to say, like, you have to really consider how well you mash or how bad you mash. If you mash too early, you're going to get hit by an up smash and you'll take percentage. If you mash too late, oh. you're going to get spiked. What great recognition there to fit in the up smash there by Jake. And now he's got Pincher Guy reeling a little bit. Pincher Guy now starting to fight his way back into this. Big Megawatt in there. Going up top. Oh, I was looking for uh, Jay to go high and said catches him right at ledge. And that was a really good stock end there, picture guy. Dragon Arm Blazer's doing business right now. Look at that. Twice now, 45%. Oh, no. Oh, and he missed the arm. <laughs> if he hit the arm, yeah, he would have been fine. But, man, that was unfortunate stuff here. Nonetheless. Big oh. punish and again. Like, like was said earlier in chat, DIYR sent us out. Jake with the diamond hat. <laughs> He's got to quite literally build up our send. Oh, what a Elytra escape there by Jake. Oh, but look at the just the jumping around with Peacher guy just being like, all right, if you want to throw out F smashes, I'll just jump around you. Big dragon arm coming through, but oh, the minecart slipped in. Yeah. A different mashup there coming out there specifically for. <laughs> Pink shirt guy, and honestly, it's still good for him to understand that you have to watch the match out. Up smash, no punish! A little bit too late on that oh. draw here. Up smash does not have a lot of end lag, as many would think. I like that. Look at that, ret look at that return to center stage coming out from PSG. Understanding, like, you know what? It's better to secure center stage. If I got myself here, it's better to try to hold it because my opponent has to fight right back for it. There's a back air to punish both of the arm swings here, and you know for sure Jake is going to keep it as close as possible. That downer just spiking Jake in the midst of trying to fish for an up tilt starter. Big down smash. Avoids the cart. Jake, though, closing in, trying to just, just get in range. Oh, big pickaxe. Again, striking Pincher Guy at ledge. Big swing there, sending Pincher Guy to the other side of the stage. There was a moment there where Jake had to gather more resources in order to get the big exploding minecart there. Oh, TNT at ledge. Wow, what a double jump from ledge with PSG to escape that. Oh, man. Oh, the patience and shield with PSG to avoid the scooping up smash, mm. but not able to escape from the back air. Jake uh, leaping no. from Minecart to close it out and take game one. PSG was on such a roll here. Unfortunately, yeah, Jake will have that back air on set there from the men. And, oh, rough, rough stuff indeed. But that was, was a really, it was really exciting back and forth. between. Yeah, them. yeah, it was close too. What was interesting to me is um, in this matchup, or at least against Jake, PSG was settling on using the Dragon Arms a lot more um, than what I saw, you know, the Megawatt Arm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the just the min -mins I encounter on Elite Smash are more than content to switch between the, <laughs> the Megawatt and the, uh, the Ram Ram just for speed and power. So right, right, right. that grad, you might actually pay off here in game number two being able to cover such a such a long and wide arc with ram ram and dragon is effectively yeah. good and then still having great speed in terms of aerials with that honestly 
PSG played this matchup pretty well, even though he was on the losing end. It was literally one or two interactions from him winning here. That's going to be 33% immediately from this down throw. But you know PSG can easily tie things up because he sees that 18% and he's going to turn it to 23 to 33. And just like that, man, I'm telling you, PSG, he played that matchup so well last match. And he was just a little, just like I said, a little bit off. But we'll see how he can do well here. I like that patience. Look at him punish that landing as well. Watch the mash out. That's the, that's... Arguably, that is the best punish you can take right there. It's better to not get yeah. punished, but if you're gonna get punished, it's better to take that one out of all of the other punishes Steve will do. Yeah, you have to be careful, folks, when you're trying to escape minecart, because if you don't, um, or you're not mindful about your mashing, you're gonna wind up eating a big up smash. Yeah. I'm gonna escape from down smash, but not able to escape the cart. Every time PSG tries to go for a whiff punish and like at ledge, like just getting past Jake, Jake's ready to respond from minecart right in the face. Ah, oh, the back oh. air. That was just such good pressure from Jake. PSG wasn't able to just get the hitbox in the right spot. Big megawatt arm here. P PSG means business. Is trying to close out Jake's first stock. The up smash, and Jake's still living. Again, able to avoid the up smash. Like, PSG mm. has the, you know, the responses in mind, but Jake is still able to get around them for the most part so far. Good, good double jump there to avoid it. Getting hit by forward smash. Second time there on that neutral air from the megawatt arm. Honestly, there's a lot of things that I am seeing here from PSG that he's able to pull out. He's just got to stay those steps closer. But one thing I'm liking about PSG too is he evaluates when he gets center stage. Once you get center stage, bro, your opponent has to fight right back for it and you put yourself in such a good position. And that's what I want to see PSG continuously do. There's a couple times where he just lets that go and you don't want to give Steve that chance. But again, the, the problem is that in this war of uh, whiff battle attrition, every time the diamond axe is active, Jake is just able to put more and more damage on. So PSG needs to press this advantage and not just keep on playing neutral Jake. But it's also a testament to Jake's skill that he's kept uh, PSG at length. Look at that. Able to abandon minecart. Spot dodge F smash. The smash ultimate classic. Yeah, and I think that's one thing that we saw originally from MT Cat do, like call out that spot dodge classic from Steve. And I kind of want to see if PSG can also do that as well, is to call that out. You, Like I said, if you can call out a, a player for a player flaw, that's the end, get your W there, then you immediately start to slowly pick apart the player. I like that. Look at this movement here around the ledge. No, he knows he's got a 5% of stage. You don't want to go too quick here. Yeah, Jake's ledge trapping is probably peak amongst all the high tier Steve mains. Oh, oh, that was scary. Was yeah, I was scared for him. <laughs> watch the landing. Watch oh. the landing. Yeah, yeah, watch the landing. Oh, man. Jake might have No, down. not like that. Not like that. No way. High up minecart. PSG was trying to press his advantage, and the advantage wasn't there. Jake pulling off a magic trick befitting of his illusion tag to take that game number two. <laughs> I'm that was the chill screen with with Enderman just like yeah yeah uh, <laughs> on a sad roller coaster down. We I won. feel like I feel like <laughs> I I honestly feel like Enderman is the type of like character to listen to a Beatles album in the middle of a boxing match. Like nothing is going on in the world, faceless, not even phased by the fact that he just killed me. So one of the things that. PSG has to desperately find an answer for is what was working against Johnny where a lot of these like close quarter situations just not able to find the cross up against Jake Jake has just covered himself so well with um, you know Steve short range options and making sure that he's always equipped with diamond right 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 so diamond are Steve's best friend Three, two, one. diamonds are <laughs> diamonds are forever man they're definitely forever here with Jake uh Last chance here between both of these players to honestly just this is either a 3 0 oh. for Jake or this is going to be a one a game four. And I'm hoping to see a game four from one of South Dakota's finest unranked in the top eight of MSM online. So, you know, that you know, the East Coast and the Dakotas have definitely got some strength in terms of players here. The one thing I'm, I've been seeing here from PSG is the return to center stage, but also trying to hold it like you kind of have to. He's trying to punish Minecart, but sometimes I feel like he could just go for up smash uh -oh. and he'll get the reflector. Oh, this is it close, but he lets go of center stage now and look at what Jake has to work with. 
To be fair, that, that megawatt arm was so close to connected to Jake in mid -flight. Right. Yeah, I think what I want to see more is more of the dragon arm here. Dragon there is, yeah. Big reflecting up smash there. Finally, mm. the timing. But tries to go to the well one too many times there at the up smash. Jake punishing it with his own. That stoops. My turn. Oh, oh man, good job. I mean, now it would have been unfortunate for PSG if you got the spike hit box. No. Yeah, that was the right call for the dragon arm, but unfortunately, like, just the arc that he had sent it over, the minecart is good to punish that. And, yeah, watch the recovery here, because oh. you know the anvil is coming. You can still make it without Elytra. Up smash? Yeah. That's what I want to see more of. PSG has that small adaptation here. He is slowly punishing the cart. He's slowly punishing the anvil. And up smash is one of those tricks to do it. Because even if Steve is going to go for that hit like there so, you can punish him for trying to go for that hit. And PSG slowly but surely finding the recipe to the victory. I mean, rewarded for some patience there right now. You just can't do anything about Steve if he has the resources to get the diamond right off the angel platform. So, Oh, <laughs> that was some sneaky movement there by Jake. I was getting punished for a spot dodge habit there. And calling out PSG's jump in return. Oh no! Oh my! God. No! Mm. Oh, the re-grab punish there. Yeah, Jake. and it's hard to because he wanted. He had the right call. Avoid the TNT at all costs, right? Because you'll lose your stock. But in that right. process, he just opened up a whole new can of worms. And it, you basically have to like rely on your opponent just trying to be over eager at ledge. But Jake was just a stone cold fox, able to yeah. punish right now and able to just glide back to stage effortlessly. Effortlessly, I can't even talk right now. Oh, play. that was good. That was so good. If he had Nair with Megawatt, that would have been the stock. Oh, Great up smash. Counter. Oh, yeah. man. I like this. Look at that from PSG. is slowly finding the recipe to victory here. Oof. Big back here. Jake right now is trying to close out this game three. I caught the roll. That, no. That setup is okay, watch bonkers. the landing. Watch the landing. Watch the, yeah, there you go. Min's landing options are not that great, and she's susceptible to being called out that way. Good yes, to go for right that now. arm swing to avoid the, to get the TNT out. Use the invincibility. What a great play here. And you can tell PSG is just slowly biting his way in, but in the middle of the grab, the hurt box is extended, and just like that, that'll be a 3 0 for Jake. Moving on Every to Losers other finals. Every other situation, Min Min gets the benefit of the doubt by having nothing extend when or nothing harmful extend when the 